Hello, welcome back to Tarot, Tarot Time with Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Thank you for the super thanks. I got a request to do a spread <clears throat> on uh, Jared Kushner and Ivanka Trump. They are having a very icy interactions. Yes, they had a yacht party they were at. <clears throat> Radar line, uh, exposed it saying they were very cold shouldered icy acting as acquaintances never interacted while on the same boat around the same people it was hard to ignore according to people who were onlookers um earlier she did ditch her dad's campaign choosing a private life and kids over um going public and doing that she wasn't going to support her dad many of you probably already know this talks on the golf course with daddy donald happened because that's where he likes to do his private chats uh, for security and, you know, privacy concerns. Turned it down. So, you know, there's a lot of uh, family dynamics going on. Could have been arguing about that. Who knows? But let's find out if they are going to be okay. I see people are speculating divorce or separation. Uh, let's find out what do the cards say about Kushner and Trump. How is it going to go for Jared and Ivanka? <clears throat> Jared and Ivanka, how is it going to go? Spirit guides and angels, please be clear. How's it going to go for this pair? Been married a while, two kids. Is it two or three? Something like that. Anyways, I don't wish it on anybody, but it happens. <clears throat> Okay, how is it going to go between Jared and Ivanka? Jared and Ivanka. There we go. Well, there you go. I am feeling it has to do with her father. That is the father card. Yeah, it has, it has to do with her father. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he likes to take the lead. Um, yeah, take the lead. I'm going to ask my pendulum if this is accurate, if this is Donald. Because it could be Jared. He is a father, too. And he is the leader of the family. The respected leader of the family. So let's find out. Is this Emperor card Jared? Is this Emperor card Jared? Is it Jared? No. Is it Donald? Yes. Okay. So it has to do with her father. There you go. <laughs> oh, boy. Under the surface. We have here the Nine of Pentacles. Yes, uh, he wants to succeed. He wants to be have their confidence. Uh, and so, obviously, they're arguing over this independence from Daddy. So, yeah, this is independence. She wants her independence from her father. She doesn't want to do it. She wants to grow her own family, work her own pentacle tree she wants to grow her own she doesn't want her father she doesn't want to ride on his coattails i guess right now challenging position we have here king of cups yeah king of cups is there is love in the relationship there is emotional uh, availability um, that she wants and needs and it's a challenging position because that is a challenging position so I'm going to ask, is this Jared or Donald? Is this Jared or Donald, the King of Cups upright? Is this Jared, King of Cups upright? Is it Jared? Is it Jared? Yes. Okay. So the challenging position is loving the self and others being emotionally available. So there's something going on regarding her father, the emotional availability of her husband right now. And she wants to grow root and seed her own family tree and turn that one tree into a forest. <clears throat> it's kind of like this here. This is, you know, as you can see, it's like she's growing her own tree here. She wants to do her own thing with her family is what she said. And that's basically what this is, this is here. Um, so, yeah, she doesn't want to be a workaholic. She probably felt like a workaholic because in reverse, that's being a workaholic. She doesn't want to be a workaholic for her father. She wants her own independence. So, and, the, and her husband here, um, the challenging position is the fact that he probably loves the idea of it. So, they're butting heads. But she's like, no, I want my independence is how I feel about this. 
focal point. Focal point, yeah. Uh, King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> King of Swords in reverse. So that is saying basically cutting out. Cutting out. She wants to cut out. She doesn't want to have him be some sort of thought leader uh, and speaking for her. She's like, no, you're not speaking for me. Uh, King of Swords is a solid mind intellectually. Give advice. She's like, don't give me advice on how I want to grow. I want to grow and do my own thing. You're not going to give me advice. Doesn't feel it's good advice. Feels it's bad advice. That it's not a good thought. Um, it's self-serving. Self-serving is too rigid. It's tyrannical. Um, she'd prefer not to. He's a little, he may be a little bit indecisive. That's a little bit indecisive as well. It's also the lawyer card. So a lawyer could be getting involved in cutting out from each other because that's a cutting out position. <clears throat> maybe, maybe he's threatening divorce or she's threatening divorce, but that is a lawyer card and cutting out, getting advice about cutting out. So it's looking like lawyers have been involved because that is my lawyer card. <clears throat> Past position that no longer serves. So she's seeking counsel. They're, they're seeking counsel on divorce. Past position that no longer serves as Ace of Wands. Energy, excitement, putting energy into each other and giving each other the thumbs up. This is my thumbs up card. Yeah, let's do that. That's a good idea. It doesn't serve anymore. She's already did that. Work with dad. Not wanting to do it anymore. Challenge position is to get her husband to not um, be so loving about the situation and being emotionally available to it. <clears throat> and um, uh, this whole thumbs up to her father saying, yeah, we're going to work for you uh, does not serve. So this is a whole lawyer situation. This is dividing them as a couple. Hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy, hidden energy. We have here is the two of wands. Two of wands is putting plans together and acting and, and not acting on it yet, but putting plans together, <clears throat> charting a path. Uh, but they're on, they're on the fence. They're on the, he, he, you know, they can't agree. They can't agree with each other because it's sideways. So it could go super bad plan or yeah. Okay. Let's go forward. Let's just support them. And let's just do this here. It's like one's on the fence. I'd say she's the one saying, you know, or he's on the fence. I'd say he's on the fence. That's why it's a challenging position. I take that back. He's on the fence and she wants him on her team here because that's what was under the deck. Uh, so yeah, and she's like, no, I think that would probably be a bad idea. He's like, well, I'm, I'm still thinking about it. No, you're not. You're supposed to be my husband. <clears throat> you're supposed to be in alignment with me. Going into the future, going into the future, going into the future. I have here ace, excuse me, five of cups upright. So there's regret. There's a lot of regret purging and releasing. There's a, it's a breakup card. It's a letdown and disappointed disagreements. Can I get back what I lost? Self-pity. There's feelings of loss and mourning, purging and releasing. So it's looking like they're trying to find the silver lining in the situation, but they're feeling let down. And they may be releasing each other through a breakup and loss. It's total breakup and loss divorce card too. And that's the lawyer. So they are, they are facing divorce. They are facing separation or divorce. And then I have here, oh, excuse me, that was three of wands, three of wands, waiting for the ships to come in, ah, waiting for the ships to come in. So yes, whoops, bad, I, I should have had my eyeglasses on better. Okay, so three of wands, this, these two cards, I always do that with that, they look so much alike, and I can't ever see that three wand there, so that's why I did that. I haven't pulled this one out in a while, so I just see two wands there and two wands, and I'm not even seeing the third wand there. So anyways, that is three of wands, I take that back, my my error three is waiting for improvement and they're want they're on they're on the fence about is this ever going to improve is it going to improve will we have improvement in our communication about my father and about him being on the fence about doing it and is communication going to improve so that we don't end up in divorce court with lawyers over uh being let down depressed and in breakup and loss uh feeling let down with each other so here it's charting a path with the two of wands. We're going to chart a path here. 
see what we can do. Maybe we should go on a road trip together, uh, see what we can do. Let's get to the outside influences. Outside influences, they're, they, they can't even fake it. <laughs> People see they're unhappy with each other and there's no healing or hope with the sun in reverse. Sun in reverse is just too cloudy. They're, it's like a dark cloud looming over them. Uh, unable to see the joy in life. Uh, the positive aspects are hard to find. Uh, very gloomy. Uh, there's just uh, there's just no joy. Uh, they don't want the light shined on it also. They want to try and keep the situation hidden as much as possible. Uh, they're not feeling any profound ha happiness, that's for sure. Uh, there's a problem with the children. What do we do with the children? It's also the, the children card. Uh, one of them's not going to be able to see the children as much. It's going to put the children in reverse. Uh, that's the baby card, the inner child also. So it's kind of triggering uh, old wounds, I would say. Uh, they're not in alignment with each other. People saw they were not in alignment. They acted like they were acquaintances. They were not talking. Uh, total cold shoulder. It was very icy. Uh, not able to purify the situation. Not seeding any joy. Uh, no enthusiasm for each other. So people saw the problems. The outside influences saw the problem on the yacht. When they were on that yacht, everyone saw that there was just this dark cloud looming over them. And they just weren't too glowed up and happy with each other. Just an unhappy couple. Next position, hopes and fears are getting fear aspect with the five of wands. Brittle egos. Uh, it's, it's challenge, competition, and struggles. They are struggling right now. It's a struggling, a struggling couple. And this is something that doesn't have to happen, to be honest. This card here represents, you know, it's an internal and an external conflict. It's a struggle of some kind. They're creating problems where there is none. It's not a problem that should happen. It doesn't have to be, in essence. It's really a battle of the eagle, egos. It's a disagreements card. So they're in total disagreement over the support over her dad. That's what this is about. Let's go to the final call. Final call. They're hitting a rock bottom. Ten of swords. Very wounded. Um, end of a cycle. Feeling betrayed and backstabbed. So she's feeling betrayed that he's not willing to support and go for the family. He's... He's having a problem saying no to Donald. He wants to say yes to Donald. That's what this problem is about. Bottom of the deck, loss of a loved one. All right, you do that. Don't, I'm not going to be your wife anymore. She's going to ice him out. So she iced him out. She was the one icing him out is what people were saying. And there we go. There's more certainty. She's starting to think. I'm thinking she's the one that will file for the with the lawyer. She's the one that sought lawyer, uh, sought out a lawyer. And that she realizes she cannot grow root and seed uh, with Jared. Uh, loss of a loved one. You, you, you go that way, we're done. So she is threatening divorce. She's threatening that we're not going to root, seed, and grow anymore. There is no growth anymore with this relationship. Uh, lack of long-term visions. Or they're, they're, not, they're battling out over their long-term visions. It's, it, you know, she's bored. She's bored. She doesn't want to do what her dad's doing. She doesn't want, she's not interested. You know, as I said before, where is it? She wants to grow on her own. Here we go. Subconsciously. No, we're going to grow and root and seed and, and grow our own forest here. Uh, but it doesn't look like we can grow here together. So she sees the growth phase of them as a couple has hit the skids. It's hit the skids big time. So there's a huge question like, should I just lose him? Should I just lose him? This doesn't look worth it. She feels so backstabbed and betrayed by him. Um, and um, it feels like a fake connection at this point. Uh, but with that Ten of Swords, sometimes it can go up to where there's light at the end of the tunnel. Go up to your Ace of Swords where there's a clarity of thought sound decisions, but it's also law and order card. After this, you can go into the Ace of Swords of law and order. Now we go into court. So she's got to come to a decision with that mental clarity that's going to come after this Ten of Swords. This breakthrough insight, it's going to create a sudden position, a clean break. That's that sword just cut and clean. It's a clean cut. So it could end up being a very clean cut to a divorce, a sudden complete change of mind. A rebirth for herself and through struggle and efforts. So it's not looking good, in essence, for them as a couple.
I'm going to ask the pendulum, will it go, will it go to divorce? <clears throat> Are they going to actually divorce? Will they actually divorce? Will Jared and Ivanka file for divorce? Will Ivanka file for divorce? Will there be a divorce between the two of them? Will there be a divorce between the two of them? Will there be a divorce? Yes, there will. Will he try to stop her? Will he try to stop her? No. Nope. Okay. I think there will be divorce. And I think she's going to be the one that files. All right, you guys. Thanks for the uh, request. Uh, anyways, it happens. Especially for the super rich. I'm not sure how long they've been married. Um, maybe one of you guys can chime in. I'm not sure if it's 10, 15 years or what. Most, well, most elites only go 10 years. I call it the 10 year plan because um, it's cheaper. The divorce is cheaper at that point when you're dealing with millions of dollars. It's cheaper to end it before you hit that 10 year mark, right before the 10 year mark. It's, um, it's, a, it's a rich elite thing. It has a lot to do with um, uh, financial support of the spouse. Cheaper that way. So the 10 year plan maybe, I don't know. I don't know how long they've been married. Okay, you guys, enjoy. Have a nice evening. Until next time, thank you for watching.